Lakewood, New Jersey. Once an upmarket resort famed for its peace and quiet. The products they make here now are anything but relaxing. SS White are one of the world's leading suppliers of dentist drill bits, with a history going back over 160 years. If you've ever had your teeth drilled, there's a very good chance it was done by one of SS White's drills. The company was founded by a guy called Samuel Stockton White, and his moment of glory came when he met President Lincoln during the US Civil War. They were discussing a dental plan for soldiers who needed their teeth to bite off the ends of powder cartridges. Today, their factory makes over 100,000 drill bits, known as burrs, every day. Each one has three main parts. The shank, which attaches to the dentist drill. The neck, which connects the shank to the burr head. And the burr head itself, which is the cutting tool. Some of the first dentist drills were used by the Maya in Central America 2,000 years ago. They drilled holes in their teeth so they could wear gemstones as decorative mouth bling. Each burr has to be fine enough to fit inside a tooth and tough enough to remain hard even at the high temperatures generated by high-speed drilling. So they start with special high-speed steel wire, which once treated will remain hard at up to 500 degrees Celsius. Each of these coils is around 600 metres long, enough to make 30,000 drill bits. But the wire is curved, so it's fed into a machine that straightens it out. It's then ground down, and cut to the required length. This will form the shank and shaft of the finished burr. But at the moment, the steel wire could still be bent. It needs treating to stiffen it up. And for that, it goes on a 130-kilometre road trip to specialist heat treatment company Solar Atmospheres in Souderton, Pennsylvania. This plant is one of the few facilities in America accredited for the heat treatment of medical devices. And it all happens in a special high temperature oven. This is the world's largest commercial vacuum furnace. More than big enough to bake 250,000 steel shanks at once. They pump the air out so the metal doesn't oxidise. Then the shanks are heated to a whopping 1,050 degrees Celsius to relax the crystal structure of the metal. After 30 minutes, nitrogen gas is injected to cool the steel back down to just 80 degrees Celsius. This hardens it. Once the treatment is complete, the drill bit shank and shaft are ready to be shipped back to Lakewood. But hardened steel on its own isn't strong enough to grind down enamel. So the shaft needs to be capped with a cutting head. And for this, they use the same metal found in armour-piercing ammo, tungsten carbide. Each burr head is tiny, just 0.8 millimetres in diameter. It's formed by moulding the tungsten carbide under extreme heat and pressure. Tungsten carbide is one of the hardest substances around and harder than any metal, which makes it pretty useful. It's used for the tips of darts and for balls and ballpoint pens. But each burr needs to be securely fixed to the shaft. Time to crank up the heat once again. This welding machine fills the gap between the burr and the shaft with a thin layer of nickel alloy plating. The alloy is heated to 870 degrees Celsius. When it cools and hardens, the burr is fused in place. The burr may be attached, but its moulded blades aren't yet sharp enough to carve through enamel. The trouble is, tungsten carbide is pretty tough to cut. There's really only one way to do it, with diamonds. The edge of this copper grinding wheel is set with hundreds of tiny black diamonds.
Each burr takes a minute to cut against the grinding wheel. Under the watchful eye of machine operator Geoffrey Braswell. There's a big responsibility. Uh, especially when you consider the fact that these are pieces that are actually going to be used in, uh, by a dentist in a person's mouth. You want to make the uh, best piece you can. You don't want pieces breaking off in someone's mouth. That's bad for everyone. When the burr spins, the tiny blades shave off minuscule amounts of decayed enamel. But the friction between the blade and your tooth generates so much heat it could damage the nerve inside your tooth. So the drill also shoots out water as it spins. Have you ever wondered why dentists wear masks? Because it's not to protect you from the smell of their breath. After using the dentist drill for just 30 seconds, your dentist is subjected to as much bacteria as if you had just sneezed into their face. The burrs finally have their cutting edge. But before they're ready to drill, they need to be surgically sterile. And that means more than a soapy bath. This machine contains a boiling vat of a bromide-based solvent. The burrs are cleaned in its steam at 70 degrees Celsius for 30 minutes. That's a vapor degreaser, so it's a little more than uh and your traditional washing machine. Sharp, sterile and rock solid, the burrs are packaged up, primed for a dentist drill near you.